I'm going to give a talk about exploiting interpixel correlations in unsupervised domain adaptation for semantic segmentation. Work done by In Sub Chung, Chayan Yu, and Do Jun Kok from Seoul National University. Unsupervised domain adaptation is a task of adopting a model to perform well on the target domain only with labeled source domain data and unlabeled target domain data where there is a large domain gap between the two set of data. The key idea is about how to use the unlabeled target domain data along with the labeled source domain data. A dominant and popular method in UDA is self-training, which is to generate a set of pseudo-labels and utilize them to give supervision on the target domain data. The pseudo-labels are generated using a model trained on source domain or a naively adopted model. However, as it can be seen in this figure, these pseudo-labels are not always correct and can be very sparse. Therefore, this work suggests a method to overcome and complement the defects of self-training with pseudo-labels. This paper proposes a method of transferring the domain invariant knowledge of the interpixel correlation from the source domain to the target domain. Interpixel correlation is a domain invariant knowledge that can provide extra knowledge to the model. For example, car pixel pixels are usually located on the road pixels and, these, and the fences and trees are usually located on the side of the road pixels. So this method tries to capture these pixel-wise correlations and transfer it to the target domain via a self-attention model. Specifically, we employ a self-attention model to give extra guidance on the output of the segmentation model. The self-attention model is trained only on the source domain data to capture the pixel correlations. After, when the model is fully trained on the source domain data, we utilize it to conduct the actual domain adaptation. The output of the model is supervised to follow the output of the module, which we call the self-attention loss. We expect the segmentation model to learn the domain invariant knowledge knowledge by following the output of the self-attention model. The segmentation model is trained with both the self-trained loss and the proposed self-attention loss. For preliminary, two loss functions are employed. One is a conventional pixel-wise cross-entropy entropy loss applied on the source domain data. On the other hand, for the target domain, since there is no labels provided, the self-training method explained earlier is applied using the generated pseudo-labels. This is the figure of the self-attention model. It takes the output of the segmentation model, which is the logit, as the input. And then it creates a self-attention map using a one-by-one -one convolutional layer and by our, by our producting it. We apply a ReLU activation on the attention map and L1 normalize each row of, the, row of the map. The module outputs a new self-attended logit Z prime. Z2 prime is a summation of original output of the segmentation model and the new self-attended output Z prime. The proposed method consists of two steps. First is to train the train the self-attention module using only the source domain data. Second is to train the actual segmentation model using the trained self-attention module. For the first step, first step we train the self-attention module only on the source domain to make it learn the domain invariant interpixel correlations by utilizing the given labeled source domain data, which can provide correct supervision. The cross entropy loss is computed on Z2 prime to make a skip connection so the loss can directly backpropagate back to the segmentation network as well. Without this skip connection, the segmentation model cannot be trained good enough and could output 
incorrect logics, which possibly harm the training of the self-attention model. Therefore, the skip connection is necessary. When the training is done, the segmentation network is discarded, and only the self-attention model is safe to use later for the actual domain adaptive, uh, domain adaptive training. The second step is to train the segment, uh, segmentation model utilizing the source-trained self-attention model. The self-attention model is frozen, and only the segmentation model is trained. The module outputs a new self-attended output jet prime, given the output of the segmentation model as input. And the self-attention loss is defined as the L1 loss between jet and jet prime, or jet and jet 2 prime. The segmentation network is trained to minimize not only the cross entropy loss, but also with the output of the self-attention module. By minimizing the L1 loss with the output of the module, the segmentation model learns additional pixel-wise correlations provided by the module. The overall loss is defined as the sum of the cross entropy loss and the self-attention loss. The overall loss is defined in two ways based on whether the self-attention loss is computed on both domain or just the target domain. The choice of using equation 8 or equation 9 and equation 10 or equation 11 is analyzed in the ablation study and quantitative anal analysis. These are the experiments of the ablation study and the comparison with other methods. As it can be seen in the table 1, the different choice of loss design shows different performance based on, based on different source domain data. For GTA 5 to CD escapes, employing self-attention loss on both the target and the source domain shows higher performance while it's, it's, it is quite the opposite on Cynthia to CD escapes. Also minimizing with Jet Prime, which is using equation 9, performs better on Cynthia. We conjecture that this is due to the difference domain gap between the source and the target domain. Cynthia is a lot more different from Cityscapes than GTA 5, hence the, uh, therefore the interpixel correlations is not consistent between the two domain data. Table 2 shows that using our proposed loss performs much better as the generation goes on. Also, Table 3 shows that our method shows compatible performance with other methods and can be additionally applied to other methods to further boost the performance. These are the qualita qualitative and quantitative analysis. <coughs> the quantitative analysis shows the entropy of the output as the iteration goes on. It clearly shows different aspects based on different source domain data. On Cynthia, using Eight shows much higher entropy, which could, which we conjecture that this is due to the larger domain gap between source and target data. Also, in the qualitative analysis, we can clearly see that when applying our method, it, the model much better captures the co pixel-wise correlations and focus more on the targeted objects. So in summary, our proposed method tries to transfer domain variant interpixel correlation from the source domain to the target domain by employing a self-attention model which is pre-trained on the source domain. The proposed method is simple and does not require complex and heuristic algorithm, yet very effective. The method supports self-training by overcoming the defects of noisy pseudo-labels and extra knowledge provided by the self-attention model. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.